Keeping guns out of the wrong hands, the Supreme Court upholds a law that's not sitting well with gun rights advocates. Shannon Halligan looks at what this means for everyone. Shannon? 40% of criminals get their firearms from illegal sources. That's according to the Bureau of Justice. And this law aimed to prevent just that. Walk in to buy a gun, you have to tell the seller if you plan to transfer it to someone else. If it's for them, they say it's for them, we'll sell it to them. They come in and want to do something else for it, we tell them to get a gift certificate. The straw law is nothing new. A straw purchase is when someone who can legally buy a gun does so with the purpose of selling it or giving it to someone else. The Supreme Court upheld this law by a narrow margin. Gun rights advocates call it a setback and government overreaching. But firearms instructor Don Pind thinks the line has to be drawn somewhere. Is it a little bit controlled? Yeah, it is. I have to admit that. Uh, nobody likes having the government control things. But the big thing is now is how many guns do you want in the wrong part of town? People who buy a gun will still need to fill out a form. This protects the owner and seller of the firearm. And a lot of times it's not the first person you give it to, it's the third or fourth person. But the gun gets traced back to the original purchaser, and there's the problem. The Supreme Court case involved two legal gun owners. However, the person who bought the gun did not disclose that he intended to sell it. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.